How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to sideload APKs or applications to your Chromebook device. So you come into the to Play Store on your Chromebook, and you want an application, you search for it, and oh uh, man, you get this. It's not available for your device. Well, that's a bummer. But you know what? You have the APK file, right? You're like, I can find the APK file online, like this one right here. Um, I want to go ahead and sideload this to my computer. How do I do it? Okay, so this is going to require um, a couple things. One is to follow the videos a couple above this on how to set up the Linux development environment. And then two, to come into settings here. And there's a couple things we're gonna do. Now this step, I don't know if it's actually necessary to even do this part of it, but it's gonna be kind of fun and just kind of cool so you guys can see it. So you're gonna go into apps, Google Play Store, manage Android preferences, and voila, you have basically Android settings, right? Pretty wicked. So we're gonna go to system, about, and you probably have seen this before, right? Build number, click, 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 click. You are now a developer. We just turned on developer options on this setup. So we come in here to developer options and you can see right here, it's grayed out, right? We can't toggle it on or off. And this is the reason why. I'm gonna show you, it actually said it right in there in developer options and what to do in, in the grayed out right here. It says turn on Chrome OS developer mode to enable ADB debugging, okay. So, how do we fix this, right? Let's back out. Let's come down here to Advanced. And we already installed our Linux development environment, right? So now we're gonna come down here to this option. Where was it at? That guy, right here. Create and start apps, enable Android debug bridge or ADB. So we're gonna go ahead and click enable. And this is gonna require a quick restart. So I'm gonna restart it and we'll be right back. All right, excellent. Um, we went ahead and restarted there in the pop-up and we're back up. Okay, perfect. You can see everything's enabled. Um, now I'm not sure if in apps again, um, let's just, I'm just curious now, let's see. If our um, developer menu is showing it is, see, it's on now, see, aha, awesome. Okay, so we've got that set up. Um, I'm gonna uh, minimize this out, our network stuff. We should be good there. So, got pop that guy down. We're gonna go in here to our files again, and we're gonna go ahead and look at that file. There it is, that Nighthawk file. Now what's important to do here is to go ahead and copy this, and you wanna put it into your Linux file system. Now. Technically, my downloads you saw in a previous video, I put it in the file system or accessible files file system, but it's way easier if you put it directly in the Linux file system, and I'm gonna show you why. So if we open up our terminal, which I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing start up because I haven't run it yet on this uh, since I rebooted, um, what you're gonna see is anything in this file folder is accessible in the terminal when it initially boots up, which makes it really simple to do some cool commands and things like that. So just so you can see, if you see LS right here, there's nothing, right? So now we're gonna go to Linux, and we're gonna paste um, that file right here, and it's copying, okay? While it's copying, we're gonna go ahead and install the uh, ADB interface so that we can sideload this uh, Nighthawk app to our device. So that command is very, very simple. We're just gonna go up here and paste it in. There it is, you'll see it linked below the video. So sudo apt get install Android tools adb y and dash y is just saying yes, do it. Okay, it's not gonna ask you to do it yes or no, it's just gonna do it. So we're gonna hit enter and it's gonna go ahead and install the Android adb or platform tools um, on the uh, virtual machine here or this uh, Linux development environment. You can see that that file is now copied over right here and as soon as this finishes the install, there it did. Now when you ls in this folder, aha, Nighthawk, it's right there, right? Very, very cool. Okay, so the next thing to do 
is just for fun, we're gonna go ahead and start the ADB server. And I like to do this anytime I do anything with ADB, so I'm gonna do ADB devices, and it's starting it, and there you go. Do you wanna allow it? Always allow, okay. And then we'll do it one more time. If you do up arrow, it'll play the last command. So ADB devices, there it is, emulator, 5554 device. You're connected. So your Linux development environment is now recognizing your Chromebook as the connected device. Okay, so from here, very simple to do any of these installs. We can do ADB install and then start typing the name of the application and then hit tab. Okay, and because anytime you're in a terminal, you can auto complete your, your text and typing very simply like that and boom it'll come up okay so you don't have to like you could you could shorten the application name and make it easier but you can just auto complete just tab over and boom it completes it so now we're going to install this apk on the device so hit enter so performing stream streamed install and as soon as this install is complete you will have sideloaded the nighthawk app onto the chromebook now i'm not saying this nighthawk app will work on the chromebook I'm not saying any app you silo will work. There could be bugs and reasons that the developer didn't enable it or say it works on Chromebook because maybe it doesn't. But it should be there. So let's go check. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna open up our uh, our apps here. Come on, go up. There we go. And scroll. Boom. Nighthawk app installed. So I'm gonna launch it. Let's see if it. I'm, I'm just curious. I don't I don't know if it's going to work at all or not. Um, okay, terms and conditions. It's probably going to be in this um, orientation, right? It's probably going to look like a phone because that's what this app is designed for. It's not designed for um, a Chromebook. But um, if I sign into my account, I think this is going to work. So that's pretty cool. I'll be able to manage my Nighthawk router at my house and all from my Chromebook. So again, it's probably not going to have the screen sizing layouts and stuff like that when you sideload an app, but you'll be able to get it on here if you want. So that's it, guys. Now, I'm curious. I know I have ADB, and I can type in ADB help to make sure ADB is in here, and this is all the different things you can do with ADB um, access, which is sweet. I don't know if this install installed Fastboot, so let's try it. So Fastboot is not installed. So sudo apt dash get install fastboot. So we're gonna install fastboot as well, cause why not? There's the why for do you sure you wanna do it? And I do wanna do it. So we have gonna get fastboot installed on here too as well. So now we can do fastboot help and boom, there's all the options and ways you can utilize fastboot. So I would assume you should be able to plug in um, to the USB port of this computer and do ADB and fastboot commands now to a phone if you want it. So pretty cool stuff. Um, you would probably have to, if you do ADB commands, you probably have to de designate what device because you're probably going to show two devices. One is going to be the Chromebook and one's going to be a phone connected. So just FYI, uh, interesting things to do there. But that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be the video. That is how to um, ADB sideload APKs to your Chromebook device. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Root Junkie out.